All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, okay, like I was saying, you know, there's a lot of ideals that get lost when you translate things from one language to another. Uh, words that don't actually translate, phrases, um, ideals, and everybody sees things differently. So without definitively Jesus himself coming back and saying, this is what I meant, how are we supposed to know? How are we supposed to follow this? You know, and then the Bible itself, you know, it, from the beginning, you know, they say God created man, God created the universe. But what about the dinosaurs and the ice age and the millions of years that the earth was here prior to man? Why is that not in the Bible? Why is the story of heaven prior to man not in the Bible? You know, Lucifer was a fallen angel that got power hungry, but he's the one who tempted Eve in the garden. So... There's a lot of story missing about heaven itself and where God came from and where the angels came from. And there's a lot of information we wasn't given. So how are we supposed to feel confident when we don't know the whole truth? How are we supposed to make a wise decision without the knowledge? You know, and then God's motives. You know, he created the heavens and the earth. The universe is vast, but we have living creatures on one planet. Why? What's the purpose? You know, he made man to tend the animals and tend to the garden. So why did he put a tree of knowledge in the middle of the garden knowing what kind of havoc it would wreak? You know, it says that our lives are written in the book that before we're born, God knows what we're going to be doing in our lives and where we're headed. So if he knows we're not living up to his expectations, then why let us be born at all? What's the point? You know, if we're just going to be put in hell, or we're going to live eternity in damnation, then why create us? Why create the human race if we're not going to live up to what he wants? And why would you have people brought forth just to feed your ego? Because it makes God sound like an egomaniac. He just wants people to praise him all day long. Because he created something. Um, well, I'm sorry, but I didn't ask to be created. So why should I praise you? My life hasn't been, you know, a bed of roses. There's nothing to praise you for. I mean, why? Why did you bring forth humans to live lives like this? And why did you bring forth all of this drama and tragedy in their world? You know, why did you bring forth this tree that would cause so much pain and agony and misery? Just, you know, don't create us, you know, don't bring us forth. I mean, that's my feeling. If you're just going to bring us forth to, you know, praise you, you got the angels for that. Leave us out of it. And then there's these Bible scholars and preachers predicting when Jesus will return. Well, any idiot that's read the Bible knows Jesus said very clearly in the Bible, you will not know the day of my return, only the Father knows. So if you're following one of these guys, you're an idiot. Go read your Bible. That's the end of that conversation, okay? Um, let me see. Now, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here because I'm just trying to figure out if I'm missing anything. Um, you know, I don't know. I think I've said enough about that. But basically, you're going to have to make a decision for yourself what you believe and what you don't believe. You know, read all the controversy about the Bible. You know, the Bible's written by man. The Bible's put together by man. And it's interpreted by man. So what are we supposed to believe? Now, they say the Bible is full of prophecies, and all the prophecies have come true except for Revelation so far. Well, why is that? Why hasn't Revelations come true so far? And... Did these prophecies really come true? Or did man write it in as they came true so we would believe the Bible? How do we know for sure that these events actually took place the way they were predicted to take place? We don't know. And there's a lot of artifacts from the Bible that stood out that we should be able to find. The Ark of the Covenant with the tablets in it. Noah's Ark. This boat was huge. Why can't we find it? I mean, seriously, people. He created this boat out of the heaviest wood he could find. 
and it was huge. So where is it at? Why can't we find it? I don't know. I would love to see the ark. Wouldn't you love to see the ark just come floating down the street one day? Come on, people. If this is true, let's find the ark. Let's find the ark of the covenant. You know, there's so much in religion that we need to find about. And until we get definitive proof, how are we supposed to know what to do? We're supposed to have blind faith. Blind faith in a being that we don't know how he got there or why he created us or what is actually in store for us. If you have any suggestions, comments, or concerns about these videos, please feel free to let me know. If you have some knowledge that you can share with me that will help me see things differently, feel free to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe up top, like at the side, and uh, hope we'll see you next time. Peace.